We were told, he would talk and he started laughing. He said, Aaron, what do you think women's liberation was about? And uh, I said, I, I'm pretty conventional thinking about it at that point. I said, I think it's about women having the right to work, getting equal pay with men, just like they won the right to vote. You know? And he started to laugh. He said, you're an idiot. And I said, why am I an idiot? He said, you want me, let me tell you what that was about. We, the Rockefellers, funded that. We funded women's lib, you know? And we're the ones who got all over the newspapers and television, the Rockefeller Foundation. He says, and you want to know why? He says, there were two primary reasons. And they were, one reason was, we couldn't tax half the population before women's live. And the second reason was, now we get the kids in school at an early age. We can indoctrinate the kids how to think. It breaks up the family. The, the kids start looking at the state as the family, as the school, as the officials, as their family, not as the parents teaching them. And so those are the two prim the primary reasons for women's live, which, which I thought up to that point was a noble thing. You know, when I saw their intentions behind it, where they were coming from when they created it, the thought of it, I saw, I saw the evil behind what I thought was a noble adventure. Uh, Aaron, know? did you know that Gloria Steinem, in one of her own books, now admits the CIA funded Miss Magazine? No, I had no idea about that. No, I never heard that. Yeah, we're gonna CIA funded Ms. Magazine? Funded Ms. Magazine with the stated goal of taxing women and breaking up the family. No kidding. I never heard that. Well, Nick told me. I mean, I mean, I know it, but not because I know the CIA was involved in it. Well, she, Gloria Steinem was proud of it. Oh, the CIA wanted to help me help women. No and kidding. So they funded it, yeah. The woman you see right here is so-called American feminist, journalist, and social and political activist Gloria Steinem, who became nationally recognized as a leader of and media spokeswoman for the women's liberation movement in the late 1960s and 1970s. But did you know that she was working for the CIA? Wikipedia only pays a small amount of lip service to this little factoid, but the facts are that Miss Steinem became a media darling due to her connections to the CIA and the feminist Ms. Magazine was funded by CIA money. In the 1970s, a radical feminist group called the Red Stockings claimed that before she became a feminist leader, she was spying on Marxist students in Europe and disrupting their meetings. Steinem was recruited by CIA's Cord Myers to direct an informal group of activists called the Independent Research Service. This was part of Myers' Congress for Cultural Freedom, which created magazines like Encounter and Partisan Review to promote a left liberal chic to oppose Marxism. Steinem attended communist-sponsored youth festivals in Europe, published a paper, reported on other participants, and helped to provoke riots. Gloria Steinem, who was from a poor and dysfunctional family and lived in a house without running water, was able to attend the elite and expensive Smith College. After she graduated, she spent two years in India spying for the CIA. She received a Chester Bowles Student Fellowship to study in India. This was a fellowship created by the CIA to cover Steinem's expenses in India. No one has received a Chester Bowles Student Fellowship either before or since Steinem received one. Commenting on the CIA...